On today's quick tips, we're going to go over e-drawings and some of the items that you can do on the free viewer uh, version of e-drawings. Uh, so on the end user, uh, uh, first thing I want to kind of point out is where you get the e-drawings free program from. So we'll go and go SolidWorks.com, uh, and then you go into support, technical support, uh, and then there's a link for downloads, uh, and it shows up under the free CAD tools. So there's the e-drawings uh, for Windows, and then there's also the Mac version. Uh, so that's where you get the uh, the free uh, viewer program. Get the latest and greatest, just so you can open the new files coming from the uh, the person that's sending it to you. A couple of things to to point out. Uh, fairly straightforward is the interface up top. Uh, you can do a zoom area, so you can zoom into an area. Any point you need to go back to the original view, you just click on the home. Uh, you can see this pane shows up on the uh, task pane on the the left there. We'll talk about that here in a moment. Uh, we can also play between different views, so if I hit the, the play button, it'll just randomly go through normal views, isometric, front view, that type of thing. Go and switch back to, to home there. You can pull mass property information off of it. Um, they've uh, included that for the entire assembly. And again, this all depends on some of the settings that they, uh, the, the person that created the e-drawings for you. Next item that we want to talk about is if you want to switch to a specific view, if you hit your space bar on your keyboard, uh, it'll get, allow you to actually go to a specific view. So we can click on top view and it takes us right there. All right, so let's go and start talking about this task pane on the, on the left there. So if I click on the move, any part that I grab, I can grab and move it out of the way. So if I wanted to look at the internals of a part or an assembly, I can take a look at that. Click on home to get everything back into location. If the, uh, the creator uh, included an explode, they can, you can be able to explode the entire assembly. This is all based off of whether they had one on the original model or not. Click on it again, it'll collapse it back down for you. Individual parts you can hide. So if you didn't want to see one of the parts, you can right click over in the, the, uh, the tree there, or you can right click over on the screen and hide those as well. Next tab down. Uh, if they have different versions of it, let's go and reset here back to home. So if we have different configurations, I can switch to from one configuration to the other configuration. So we've changed the colors and changed the positioning of it. Next tab down. We can also uh, cycle between the different views, but we can also change the order uh, of where those views are at, uh, and then it'll play uh, in that sequence. I'm going to reset that. Uh, next tab down is our markup. Uh, this allows you to actually add additional notes to it. So we can actually say that we have that a smaller hole. So it adds in a, a note in there so we can actually say what we want to do with it. We can also do dimension type stuff. So I can drop a dimension, put in additional notes make longer and it marks it with the the Windows uh, uh, login stamp uh, and then you can also rename those if you if you need to next tab down ability to uh, measure uh, the measuring if in the lower right hand corner you do not have a red uh, cross going across the uh, red circle going across the tape measure it will allow the, the measuring uh, so I can click on an edge it will tell me the length uh, if I pick on another edge uh, or point it will actually give me the distance between those two so I can actually get uh, numerical uh, information off of it and selection filters across the top there we can also section view uh, so if you switch to the next tab, we can do uh, enter, insert cross-section. Uh, as far as cross-sections go, you just grab the plane and you're able to actually drag through it. Switch to a different plane and you can actually drag and see it's sectioning from a different orientation. Uh, next tab down, if they did add an animation, then you can actually play the animation uh, that was included with the file. So we can actually see the animation that was saved with it. And again, we can go home back to the original orientation there. The last item on the list there is the ability to drop stamps onto it. So we can actually say that this model is approved. Uh, and then we can go and send all this information back to the original user. Uh, let's go and go back to our other 
configuration here and let's go and drop in a markup here there we go so we got our markup we've got our approved stamp uh, we have the ability of actually saving this markup file and be able to send that back to the original user so I'll go and say this user go and say OK uh, and then I have the ability of sending them just that file as far as the changes that I want to make to the model don't have to send the original e-file back to to the user and that's all for today